Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztofa Staszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. And if you'd like to make a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's the problem for today. Eric deposits X into a savings account at time zero, which pays interest at a nominal rate of I compounded semi-annually. Mike deposits 2X into a different savings account at time zero, which pays simple interest at an annual rate of I. Eric and Mike earn the same amount of interest during the last six months of the eighth year, Calculate I. So after seven and a half years, Eric will accumulate X, the initial deposit, times 1 plus I over 2 to the power 2 times 7.5, because it's a um, nominal annual rate compounded per every half a year. So that's why I divided by 2, and then to the power 2 times the number of years which is seven and a half. So it's x times one plus i over two to the fifteenth. And then in the last half a year of the eighth year, this amount, accumulated amount, will be multiplied by i over two if you're calculating the interest on it. So the i over two, the effective rate over the next six months, times that amount. Mike's interest in the last six months of the eighth year is 2x times i over 2, because that's what he gets every half a year, because he's getting simple interest. By equating the two interest amounts, we get x times 1 plus i over 2 to the 15th times i over 2 equals 2x times i over 2. Well, i over 2 cancels, x cancels, so 1 plus i over 2 to the 15th is 2. We take both sides to the power 1 over 15, we get 2 to the 1 over 15 equals 1 plus i over 2, so that i is equal to 2 times, and then 2 to the 1 15th minus 1, and that we calculated to be approximately 9.4588, and that's answer C. Please remember this is copyrighted material, and problems from Society of Actuaries or Casualty Actual Society do belong to them, are used with permission. The solutions are mine. Good luck with you studying and good luck on the on the test.